Okay guys, welcome to our How to Hold videos. In this video, we're going to be looking at Inferno, and we're going to be looking at the Banana and the B Bomb Sight area of Inferno. I apologize, this is going to be a long video, but we're going to cover both the aggressive and defensive holds of the B Bomb Sight. So we're going to look at timings, angles, positions, grenade usages, pushing, and terraced aft plant positions as well. But let's first define what area of the map we're going to be looking at. So we're going to be looking at both the banana area all the way to the bottom, the B bomb site and the construction area from the T stairs. But we'll be mainly looking at the top part of banana to the entrance to the B bomb site from banana area. We will not be covering any of these from either CT spawn or construction as they have covered in other videos, specifically the jungle video. Let's have a look at timings. We're going to look at CT timings, terrace timings, and the meeting angle. So for a counter terrace to get to the top of banana, this is before they get to the car. It takes them about 10 seconds. They can't look down banana with this though. It takes them a bit longer. And for terrace to get to the bottom banana near the tree, it takes them 11 seconds. So if CTs go peeking down banana, the taste will be there before them. The angle is banana. Let's have a look at angles. We're going to look at aggressive angles, defensive angles. So you can hold down across two stairs, if you're going to play really aggressive. You can hold bottom banana. You can hold top part of banana. A few angles across the top banana, depending on where you're holding. Across the sandbags. And then entrance to the B-bomb side area. And across to the little pit. Let's have a look at positions. We're going to look at aggressive, defensive, one kill, and orping positions. So you can hold at the tree, the bottom banana. You can hold anywhere on the other side of the banana, the car, the sandbags, the corner, the CT corner, coils or construction area, behind the fountain or the dark spot, new box, second oranges, first oranges, on top of the oranges, and in the cutout to the right of the entrance. So here's a, this is a aggressive position, so mainly a one kill position. Here's a good position if you smoke where the crosshair is. Car is a pretty good position, just don't pick to the right because you're going to get killed probably from a guy watching two stairs. Sandbags is more of a one kill position. This is a good position as well, just be careful for people on top of the wood tack. CT is a good position, but you can be smoked out, so be careful. Coils is decent. Just be wary, you can be shot through the coils. Dark or behind the fountain is also a good position. More of a defensive position. New box is getting a bit more defensive, but very good position. Be careful of being shot from Nana. Oranges. Either of them are pretty good positions, but you don't have eyes on bottom top of Nana. So just be careful of this. On top of here is a good one kill position, but you can fall back pretty easily. Another one kill position here, just be careful, your gun can poke out. Orping positions, you can orp from the car. You can peek right after this if you're going to play aggressive. You can orp from the corner here. Again, wood stack. CT is a good orping position, but you can be smoked out. Coils is good, you can just jump on the coils if you want. Again, you can be shot through them though. Dark is decent, but you can get trapped pretty easily. And new boxes, again, decent, defensive, you can get trapped. Let's have a look at grenades. We're going to look at smokes, flashes, and incendiary grenades. So we'll start with the smokes. There are a few smokes you can throw in T-spawn. This one here will block off the top of Nana. It's pretty quick. Usually you do this if you're struggling or your A guy wants to smoke off Nana for you at the start of the round. From here you can smoke off the bottom of Nana. So this is decent if you have, you know, two guys pushing down Nana, you're going to smoke off that. You're going to rotate. Get a teammate to smoke this off for you when you push down Nana. You can flash him, push him back to the smokes. Once you're at the bottom of Nana and the smoke phase, you can pop another smoke if you need to. This just delays them getting banana control, which is a really good thing on Inferno. You can do this from the other side of banana as well. You can actually play up closer if you want to. Just be careful of being spammed, because people do like spamming through that smoke a lot. And they do like boosting, so also be careful of that. Okay, you can also smoke bottom banana from car. So if you do this, you can smoke from car, you can push down, if you want to do it quickly enough. Or if you're helping your teammate bottom of banana. From sandbags, you can smoke the top part of Nana. Just two-handed throw over the sandbags. Smokes quite nicely. 
try to get it as deep as you can, rather than right up near car, so they can't jump on car through the smoke. So you see with the smoke, they can actually go around and jump on the car. But you can do the smoke from the corner quite nicely. If you're in CT, you can just block off the entrance here. One smoke, blocks it off, delays them, helps your rotation. It allows you to get onto site, or allows you to rotate. Usually the B rotator will be the first one to throw the smoke, so that the guy on the B side can hold the smoke for the longest time possible. Coils you can throw a smoke in. So you're using these to delay, to help your teammates rotate to B, or help your teammates rotate to A, depending on how the round is going. Be careful if you're going to throw smokes from the back and the right side of the B side, as they do sometimes get pretty close. And if they're too far closer to B than that smoke is, they can actually go around it and can present a large problem. So a smoke like this, if they go to the right here, and the left on this side, they can go around it and sometimes catch you off guard. If you're at the oranges, you can use the back wall here to throw smokes. These actually work quite a bit better because they get a bit further in. That's quite nice. Be careful of people on top of the cart, as they can see you at coils sometimes. And then first oranges you can do the same. You can pop it over the top of first oranges, but it doesn't get quite as deep. Top of the oranges you can do the same kind of smoke. Usually this will alert people that you're on top, but you can easily jump down if needed. So it gets quite deep, which is good. If you're here, you can pop a smoke. Again, it does alert people that you're there, but you can use it just to delay, because you're probably going to smoke it and then rotate off pretty quickly, so it's not too bad. Flashbangs, quite a few you can do. So underhand flash from the tree here, pop out, you can use this to pull back, you can use this to get a peek down to T-stairs, or you can just do one off the bottom. So depending on how you want to do it. From the other side of Nani, you can just flash it off the wall, as you would the smokes. Again, flash is T-stairs, you can use it to retreat, or you can use it to have a peek. You can flash it off the other wall as well. This one's not quite a pop flash. From car, you can do an underhand flash, just make sure you practice this one, and it goes over the top of the car, which is quite nice. It's not really a pop flash, but usually not very expected. If you're running down Nana, you can use the fence there to throw a flash. This hopefully delays people pushing up Nana, and allows you to get control of bottom Nana. You can also use the car here to flash, this flashes around the corner quite nicely. It doesn't flash bottom of Nana though. From sandbags you can do a two-handed flash hitting the wall, pop flashes down Nana. Or you can use the back fence here to throw a flash. Whichever one you prefer, this one gets a bit closer, the other one gets a bit further. You can also do an underhand flash. This one's good if they know that you're there, you can just pop one really quickly over. And since they're looking at there, they'll get flashed. If they don't know there, they don't know that you're there, you can flash across here. And that works out pretty well. You can flash over the left side of Nana, just straight flash from the corner. Again, this allows you to get control of bottom Nana quite easily and slows them down. Which is really what you're doing here, you're just slowing their push to the top of Nana. And you can flash up the window, or you can do an underhand flash here. Whichever one works for you, and depending on where they are, depending on which flash is best. You also throw a flash over the building, and that will flash people at bottom Nana again. Again, to delay. You're delaying as much control of Nana as you can. From CT, you can flash off the wall, and that flashes the top of Nana. This one's a bit less about delaying, and more about just stopping them pushing into B. So at this point you've kind of given up control of Nana. You're just stopping them getting control of the entrance to B. If you flash to the right here, this will stop them as they're pushing in. Usually if there's a smoke there, it will flash them. If not, it, they probably will see it, but usually they don't expect it, and they'll get flashed. Coils, you can throw one over coils. Again, good when they're rushing in. It's not really going to buy you much time if they're not rushing in, but it's very good when they're rushing. This one here is also good. Usually if you're rotating through con, pop this flash and you can pick off from coils. This one here, you just throw it over, flashes Nana, delays again. From back here, you can throw one just straight across. Pretty standard, hits the wall, flashes people at the top of Nana. Or you can use the barbecue area, throw a flash, and it flashes people pushing as well. Again, you can also throw one just over the building, just to delay, slow them down. 
annoy them, whatever you want to do with that flash. You can also flash off the fountain. You have to get this one pretty accurate and it kind of pops in an awkward spot so I wouldn't recommend it but you can do it. From your boxes you can flash over here and again delays them, slows them down. If they're already up top of Nani, you can flash over the new boxes themselves and it will flash them as they're pushing in. Usually you do that a couple seconds after you hear the smoke pop. Just throw this flash and you'll get them. Same with this flash. A bit after the CT smoke pops, throw this flash, you should flash all of them. Same with this flash as well. So these are counter flashes. So you'll see a bunch of flashes, maybe a bunch of Molotovs come in, and you pop these flashes. This one as well. And you can peek and get it kills. And hopefully your teammates can rotate. You can use a little ledge here. Just be careful, they do roll out sometimes and can be easily be seen. The barbecue little thing here is probably better. It pops up and it takes less time in the air and it flashes them a lot better. You also use the second oranges to flash and flashes them in about the same spot, whichever one's easiest for you. And of course the fountain as well. Just make sure you get the angle right. This one's a bit more fiddly and it doesn't flash them quite as nice. From first orange you can also use the barbecue. And you can flash over first oranges as well. This one's a bit worse. It requires a right angle, and if they're too far to the right, they will see it coming. If you're on top of the oranges, you can just pop an underhand flash down. This allows you to retreat quite easily, and also delays them. If you're cut in this cutout here and they know you're there, one flash will do it, flash you out, and you can either retreat or try to get as many kills before they're going to spam you down. Or you can use the pole here. This will flash a bit further in, allowing you to retreat much easier. So in Cinderaries, throw one at bottom of Nana. It's again delaying them as much as you can, denying them control of Nana. From other side of Nana, you can do the same. So again, yep, delaying is all you're really doing here. The car, just throw it straight down, hit the wall, bounce off. Quite nice. Just make sure you get this one deep, otherwise they know that, that you won't be in some positions. Top of sandbags, now you're delaying top control of Nana. Works quite nicely, you can stack Molotovs here, so if you think they're going to be rushing, two of you can pop a Molotov and it will pro probably kill most of them. CT, control of entrance to B, just pop it underneath the lamp. Pops quite nicely here, and they have to run through most of it. Coils, you throw it over the coils, you don't even need to be seen to throw this one. Lands in exactly the same spot. You can also throw it off the fountain here. This stops a bomb plant, so it's quite useful Molotov. And forces more delaying of time before they can get the bomb down. Good for if you're rotating in. If you're back of the site, you can throw one. Just be careful you don't throw it too high or too low, as it will pop sometime early if you stuff it up. New boxes, just slam it into the ground. Delaying them running onto the site. Try to get this one closer to Nana if you can. Maybe from this side works a bit better. Bounce off the wall and lands there quite nicely. From the oranges, you can use the construction wall to bounce them off. Again, if they run through these ones, they won't take that much damage, but it should delay them. Or you can use the little ledge. Again, doesn't take that much damage for them to run through, but it might delay them, might make them think twice. Top orange, you can just slam it into the ground. Pops there quite nicely, delaying them quite nicely. And in this cutout, make sure you throw it deep enough, otherwise you will get in the incendiary and you will take a lot of damage. And they can also see you when you retreat, so you're kind of stuck when you throw that one. Let's have a look at pushing. We're going to look at benefits and detriments of pushing. So you, there's two ways you can push. You can push down Nana into T-Stairs. This just forces them to go second mid. It's okay if you want to try and get control of mid. You can clear out T-Stairs and then watch mid. Or you can just push up mid, which is a bit more effective, if you've cleaned out T-Stairs. And then you can push with jungle guys, and you just get a wrap and force them into certain positions, which is quite nice. Let's have a look at terrorist star plant positions. We can look at aggressive ones and defensive ones. So this is an aggressive one. This is the tree. Watching the truck area. Construction. There are also different places playing construction. We're going to look at two here. There's one behind the sandbags here as well. You can play left or right of the sandbags. You can play in the garden. Or you can play at the coils, watching either here or Nana. You can play back of sight in the dark spot. 
The new boxes work well as well, just don't pick too far across, otherwise you might get orped. The oranges, either oranges first or second, are decent positions, just as long as you've got control of construction. Because it's pretty easy to kill you if you don't have that. And then the barbecue pit area here. And then Bernardo for the bomb is planted for you, which is a quite nice spot. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.